Cool. Well, everyone, it is such a pleasure to have you here on a Monday evening. Thank you for joining. Um, yeah, if you have water, feel free to grab some water. Um, if you have a block, feel free to keep a block at hand. And um, otherwise, let's go ahead and get started. Kevin, glad to have you, man. Um, and let's get started lying on our backs in a soup to Konasana. So bottoms of your feet together. Knees open wide. And then you can bring a hand to your stomach, hand to your chest if that feels comfortable. Just rest your hands by your sides. And so as you're in this shape, so really just let yourself settle wherever you're at. Allowing yourself to feel your breath moving through you. And not forcing anything here. So just watch your breath come and go. And notice how it feels to be on your mat. And beginning to take more control of your breathing. Take a long, slow inhale through your nose. And open mouth exhale. Long, slow breath in through your nose. Feel your belly rise. Feel your chest lift. Open mouth exhale. Feel your chest sink and squeeze your navel to your spine till you're out of all your oxygen. Inhale one more time through your nose. Feel your belly. Feel your chest. And open mouth exhale. Now inhale through your nose. And seal your lips and exhale through your nose, maintaining the same constriction at the back of your throat. Again, inhale through your nose and exhale, let it go. Inhale through your nose and exhale, let it go. Now inhale, go ahead and bring your knees into your chest and just give yourself a hug, rock side to side. And kick your heels up to the ceiling. Keep your tailbone flat on the mat. And now take chaturanga arms, but lift your shoulders or your elbows up in line with your shoulders and forearms like you're pressing the ceiling away from you. Now take a breath in. And as you exhale, bring your knees to your triceps. Inhale, kick your heels out. Like this time you're kicking them straight out like a low bow position. Inhale, bring them back in, tap your elbows. And exhale, kick your heels to the ceiling. Knees to your elbows, low bow, kick your heels out. And bring them back in and tap, kick them to the ceiling, down to your elbows, back to a low bow. And to your elbows, heels to the ceiling. And go ahead and bring your knees into your chest. Again, rock side to side. And rock front to back. Cross your ankles and go ahead and sit over your legs. Make your way into a tabletop. And then your tabletop, take whatever movements and shapes you need right here, right now. If that's some hip circles, if that's some wrist stretches, a few rounds of cat-cow. Go ahead and take that. Moving here for five breaths. Meeting back in a tabletop in three. Last two, and one. Now in your tabletop, plant firmly through your hands and lift your mid back towards the ceiling. So feel your shoulder blades separate and take an inhale. And now keep your knees right where they are, but exhale, send your hips back towards your heels. And arms stay pressed down. Inhale, lift yourself back up. Now lower halfway to a modified chaturanga. Elbow stays tight to your side, shoulders down your back, long through the crown of your head. Inhale, straighten your arms. Exhale, child's pose. Inhale, slowly come back up. Lower halfway on the exhale and up dog as you breathe in, tops of your feet down. Pull your heart through, tall through the crown of your head. And down dog on your exhale, send your hips to the ceiling. And notice how your down dog feels. Again, fingers spread wide. Use your entire palm here in your foundation. So notice if you're depending too much on the heel of your palm and try to press through the length of your fingers. 
Maybe welcome a soft bend to your knees. Continue to press your chest towards your thighs. And take a breath in here. And exhale, take your hands one palm's length closer towards your feet. Left hand stays on the mat. Reach your right hand to the outside of your left ankle and take a gentle twist here. You can look underneath your left armpit. Keep both hips to the ceiling. Continue to reach your heels towards the floor. One more breath in and exhale, switch sides. Plant your right hand. Bring your left hand to the outside of your right ankle. Gaze underneath your right armpit. And take one more breath in and exhale, both hands to the mat. Now come upon your tiptoes and tiptoe to a ragdoll. Feet about hips distance, go ahead and grab opposite elbows. If there's a different variation of your ragdoll, feel free to interlace your fingers behind your thighs. You can take your hands behind your neck. Bend one knee, straighten one leg. Rock and sway side to side. If you're grabbing elbows and you haven't already, switch your grip. One more breath in, and exhale, release your hands to the floor and lengthen your spine. Now bring your left hand directly underneath your shoulder, and in between your two feet, bend your left knee and twist, reach your right arm up to the ceiling. So right leg stays straight, left knee bends, one more inhale here, and exhale, switch, bring your right hand to the floor, bend your right knee, inhale, reach your left arm to the ceiling. And one more breath here. Exhale, left hand down, bend your left knee, and inhale, right hand high. Exhale, bring your right hand down, bend your right knee, and inhale, twist, send your left arm to the ceiling. Exhale, both hands to the floor, bend your knees, keep your chin tucked, unroll all the way to a standing pose. Shoulders up and down your back. Fingers wide at your sides. Inhale, sweep your hands high, palms to touch. Step your feet together and bring your hands to your heart. And take a moment here to setting, to acknowledge yourself for setting some time aside for you. And thank you for sharing your time and your space with me and everyone else joining in on this class. Now, if you have an intention or a reason that's calling you to your mat, call it to mind, return to it as often as you need to. Otherwise, I just offer up these next 60 minutes as practice to you and whatever it is that you need to get. Feel free to take these poses as far as you need. Feel free to hold back as long as you need to and join us again when you're ready. Take one more breath in and exhale, release your hands by your side, plant through your feet, mountain pose on your inhale. Now pause here for a moment. Stay active through your arms. Now as you lift through your fingertips, feel your ribs come up with you so your shoulders aren't crowding your ears but your shoulders are lifting. And feel your navel squeeze to your spine, press down through your feet. Take one more breath in, exhale, forward fold. Hands to your shins, halfway lift. Now pause here for a moment. Now you can bring your hands as high up onto your thighs as you need to to find a flat back. And then once you find your flat back, work your hands back down your legs until you start to round and pause right before you round. Shift more weight towards your toes, tilt your pelvis forward. Take one more breath in. And exhale, hands to the mat, step back to plank. And take an inhale here. And now exhale, right knee to your left elbow. Inhale, step back to plank. Exhale, left knee, right elbow. Inhale, plank. Exhale, chaturanga. Inhale, up dog. And down dog on the exhale. And take a breath in. Exhale, let it go. Two more breaths here. And inhale up on your toes, tiptoe to your forward fold. Halfway lift, breathe in. Forward fold, breathe out. Inhale, mountain pose. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, hands to the mat. Step back to the plank. Take a breath in. And exhale, right knee, left elbow. Inhale, plank. Exhale, left knee, right elbow. Inhale, plank. Exhale, chaturanga. Inhale, up dog, and exhale, down dog. Take a breath in. Exhale, let it go. Two more breaths here. Now inhale your right heel high, 
and exhale, low lunge, tuck your chin to your chest, step your right foot through. Now step your left foot forward, inhale, halfway lift, exhale, fold. Inhale, mountain pose, exhale, forward fold all the way down. Inhale, halfway lift, exhale, step back to plank, take your breath in, and exhale, right knee, left elbow. Inhale, step back to plank, exhale, left to right. Inhale, plank, exhale, chaturanga. Inhale, up dog, exhale, down dog. And take a breath in, exhale, let it go. Two more breaths. Inhale your left heel high. And a low lunge, bring your chin to your chest, knee to your forehead, and plant your foot. Inhale, halfway lift, step your right foot up. Exhale, fold. Inhale, mountain pose. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, step back to plank. Take your breath in. And exhale, right knee, left elbow. Inhale, plank. Exhale, left to right. Inhale, plank. Exhale, lower halfway. Up dog on the inhale. Down dog on your exhale. Breath in and breath out. Breath in and out. Now up on your toes, bend your knees, gaze forward. Exhale, travel to the top. Halfway lift, forward fold. Mountain pose, ground and reach. And exhale, fold forward. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, hands down. Step back to plank. Hold for an inhale. Exhale, right knee, left elbow. Inhale, plank. Exhale, left to right. Inhale, plank. Exhale, chaturanga. Up dog, breathe in. Down dog, breathe out. And breath in. Exhale, let it go. Two more breaths here. And up on your toes, bend your knees, face forward. Exhale, top of your mat. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, fold. Now chair pose, sit your hips down and back. Round here through your heels. And find your variation with your arms. If that's arms straight out, lift fingers above your shoulders, stay here. You can take your hands wide. You can bring your hands to your heart. But bring more weight towards your heels. Keep your chest lifted as you lower your hips towards the mat. Now take one more breath in, and dragon bird as you breathe out, sweep your hands behind you, palms face one another, come up onto your tiptoes. Now thighs stay squeezed tight, shoulders roll together, chest stays lifted. Hold through this breath in, stay through through your exhale, ground your feet, and inhale mountain pose, exhale forward fold. Inhale halfway lift, exhale chaturanga, hands down, step back. Lower halfway. Up dog, breathe in. Down dog, breathe out. Warrior one, right side. Set your foundation. Fingertips to the ceiling. Strong here in your stance. Yeah, excellent. And hold and breathe here. Again, if your arms get tired from being straight up, you can take them wide. You can always keep your hands at your heart. It's a little lower into the lunge. Excellent. Extend through your fingertips. Two more breaths here. Can you sit a little deeper? Can you lift a little higher? Last inhale. Exhale, hands to the mat. Step back to plank, lower chaturanga. Inhale, up dog. Exhale, down dog. Left side, warrior one. Step through, ground and lift. Plant your feet. Left knee over your ankle. Right foot at about a 45 degree angle. Yeah, excellent. Hold here. Then relaxing at your shoulders, but still active here through your arms. Lifting from your hips to your ribs, extending up and out. Take one more breath in. Sit a little deeper. One more inhale. And exhale, hands to the mat. Step back to plank. Lower chaturanga. Up dog on the inhale. Down dog on the exhale. And breath in and out. Two more breaths here. We'll take that sequence. One breath. One movement. Inhale up on your toes. Bend your knees. Gaze forward. Exhale, travel to the top. Halfway lift and fold. Chair pose, hips low, heart lifts. Drinking bird on the exhale. Sweep your hands back high on your tiptoes. Inhale to mountain. Exhale, fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, chaturanga. Hands down, step back, lower halfway. 
Up dog, breathe in. Down dog, breathe out, warrior one. Right side, step through, use your entire inhale to reach the top. And exhale all the way back down through your flow. Up dog, breathe in. Down dog, out, move right to your left side. Step your left foot through, ground your right heel. And hands to the mat. Step back to plank, lower chaturanga. Inhale, up dog. Down dog is where we meet. Take your breath in. Exhale, let it go. Two more breaths here. And up on your toes. Bend your knees, gaze forward. Exhale, travel to the top of your mat. Halfway lift. And fold. Chair pose, breathe in. Drinking bird, breathe out. Mountain pose on your inhale. Ground in, reach. Exhale, fold. Halfway lift, chaturanga, hands down, step back, lower halfway. Inhale, up dog, exhale, down dog, warrior one, right side, step, ground and lift. Hands to the mat, take it back, move through your flow. Once you get in your down dog, take it to the left side, left foot through, ground and reach. Hands back to the mat, move through your vinyasa. We'll meet in a down dog, breath in. And out, breath in, and out, up on your toes, bend your knees, gaze forward, top of your mat. Inhale, halfway lift, exhale, fold. Inhale, chair pose, and exhale, drinking bird. Inhale, mountain, pause here for a moment. Now back bend, cactus your arms, lift your heart to the ceiling. Keep grounding through your heels. Squeeze the backs of your thighs, squeeze your glutes, open and lift here for three. Mountain in two, and one, mountain pose. Forward fold. Halfway lift, and exhale, chaturanga. Inhale, up dog, and exhale, down dog. Right heel to the sky. Listen for the change, bend your knees, stack your hips. Welcome some movement here. Then inhale back to three-legged dog. And one time, knee to your nose. Inhale, back up. And exhale, plant your foot. Rise to warrior one. Set your foundation here. Take a deep breath in. And now hands behind your back. Interlace your fingers. Squeeze the heels of your palms together. Lean back, lift your heart. And humble warrior, crown of your head to the floor. Fist to the ceiling. Hold and breathe. Continue to squeeze the heels of your palms, bringing your shoulders out. Notice your shoulders are crowding your ears. Release in three, hands to the mat in two, and one low lunge. Three-legged dog, send your right heel up and back. Bend your knees, stack your hips. Option to stay, option to take it to flip dog or wild thing. Yeah, find your variation. Excellent. Ground, lift, and open, hold, and breathe. You've got this for five. Breathe through it for four. Strong in your foundation, last three, two, and one. Both hands to the mat, take it to side plank, left hand down, right hand to the ceiling. Now take your variation, if you need to stagger your feet, stagger. If you need to stack, stack. If you wanna lift your top leg, lift it, hold and breathe, keep your hips up nice and strong for five. Plank in four, way to hold on to it for three. Last two, and one, hands down, lower through chaturanga. Inhale, up dog, and exhale, down dog. Excellent, beautiful span. Inhale, your left heel high. Knee to nose one time, shoulders over your wrist, tuck your chin to your chest. Inhale, back up, and exhale, plant your left foot, rise to your warrior one. Again, strong in your foundation. Take your breath in, interlace your hands behind your back. Squeeze your shoulders together, lean back, lift your heart, look up. And exhale, humble warrior. Left shoulder inside or on top of your left thigh. So strong here in both legs. Yeah, go ahead and tuck your chin to your chest a little bit more like you're trying to look back behind you. Nice, Catherine. Hold and breathe here. You got it for five. Bring it out for four. Low lunge in three, two, and one. Both hands down. Inhale, three-legged dog. Bend your knees, stack your hips. Again, if you want to flip, go ahead and flip. If you want to stay, go ahead and stay. Strong in your foundation. Now think of pressing the floor away from you. 
If you're flipping, continue to squeeze your thighs towards one another. Continue to lift your hips, press down, open up for three, two, and one. Right hand to the mat, right foot to the mat. Take it to your side plank, left arm opens up. Hold and breathe, you can stagger your feet. Squeeze your navel to your spine. Strong in your foundation, press the floor away from you. You've got it here, excellent, Michael, for five. Stay four, three, plank in two and one. Way to hold on to it, Raven. Inhale, up dog. Ground your knees, child's pose. Grab a drink of water. Take a deep breath in. Towel off if you need a towel off. Grab a drink if you need a drink. We'll meet back in a down dog in three. Down dog in two. If you need more time, take as much time as you need. If you're in your down dog, inhale up on your toes. Bend your knees, gaze forward. Exhale, top of your mat. Halfway lift and fold. Chair pose. Now in your chair pose, ground through your right foot. Take it to eagle on the left side. Left leg over, left arm under. Now strong here in your foundation. Elbows stay over your knees and in line with your shoulders. And think of drawing your shoulders down your back and reach your forearms towards the front of your room. Excellent. Hold here. If you're struggling with balance, go ahead and keep your left toes on the mat. Can you sit your hips a little deeper? Last three. Single legged Tadasana in two and one. Inhale, stand tall. And now airplane pose. Sweep your arms back, kick your left heel back. Strong here in your right leg. Hold and breathe for three. Crescent lunge in two. And one, ground your left toes, sweep your arms high. Now, if you don't feel comfortable in your crescent lunge, feel free to ground your back foot. So taking a warrior one stance, you can do all the same poses from here. Take one more breath in. Now open arm twist, left arm forward, right arm back. Using the strength in your core to reach wide fingertip to fingertip. Shoulders stay over your hips, can you stay deep in the lunge? Going to take it to an exalted warrior. Bring your right hand to your left thigh. Left fingertips reach up to the ceiling. Stay low in the lunge. Continue to squeeze your left glute. Press your left hip forward. Take one more breath in. And now skandasana over your left leg. So you're going to bring your right arm back. Ground your left heel. Send your hips down and back. Lean forward. Now stay through this breath out and crescent lunge on your inhale, shift back towards your left toes, fingertips reach high and exhale, open arm twist. Inhale, exalted warrior, left hand to the ceiling. Exhale, skandasana over your left leg. One more time, inhale, crescent lunge. Exhale, open arm twist. Inhale, exalted warrior. And skandasana over your back leg as you breathe out. Inhale, crescent lunge, bring your hands to touch, and exhale, revolved crescent, left elbow, right thigh. And hold and breathe here. Pressing your palms evenly into one another, think of stacking your shoulders. Keep your hips low, if you need to modify, feel free to come down towards your left knee. Continue to extend out through the crown of your head. Here for three more breaths. And last breath in. Hold through your exhale, crescent lunge as you breathe in, warrior two as you breathe out. Now strong here in your foundation, shoulders over your hips. Go ahead and flick your right palm and straighten your right leg just to give it a break, reverse triangle. Round and reach up. And now side angle pose, bend back into your right knee. Take your variation. You can extend wide, fingertip to fingertip, elbow to your thigh, half bind, full bind, roots of paradise. Here for four more breaths. Now, if you're thinking, stack your shoulders. Right knee over your right ankle. Steady wherever you go. Excellent variation, nice Natalie. Two more breaths. Last breath in. Release any binds you have on your breath out. And reverse warrior on your inhale. And both hands to the mat on your exhale. Now step your left foot up to meet your right, halfway lift, and exhale, fold. Inhale, chair pose. Now set your foundation. 
Eagle on the right side. Right leg over, right arm under. Now palms to touch, back of hands. You can grab shoulders. You can bring your forearms together and palms to touch. Find your variation. Everything hugs to the midline of your body. Yeah, I'm gonna stick with it. Excellent. Beautiful variations. Now hold and breathe here. Continue to ground through your left heel. Can you sit your hips a little deeper? Yep, got it here for three. Single legged Tadasana in two. And one on wrap, single legged Tadasana. Take your breath in. Airplane pose as you breathe out. Kick your right heel straight back behind you. Now extend out through your fingertips, out through your heel. Crescent lunge in three, two, and one. Round your toes, sweep your hands high. Again, shoulders over your hips, right heel over your right toes. If you need to, find a soft bend here at your right knee. So this way you can tuck your tailbone a little more. You might feel that more in your right quad. Take one more inhale and open arm twist, left arm back, right arm forward. Again, reach wide, fingertip to fingertip. You can take your gaze over your left hand. You can stay gazing at your right fingertip. Either variation works. Now one more breath out. Bring your left hand towards your right thigh. Right fingertips lift to the ceiling, exalted warrior. You're gonna try to stay low here in the lunge. Take one more inhale. Now skandasana over your right leg, twisting back, ground your right heel. Maybe your left toes point up towards the ceiling. Now you can always bring your fingertips down to the floor. You can keep your hands at your heart. Stay through this breath out. And crescent lunge, shift your weight from your right heel to your right toes, ground here. Now inhale, crescent lunge. Open arm twist on the exhale. Inhale, exalted warrior. And exhale, skandasana over your back leg. Inhale, crescent lunge. One more time, exhale, open arm twist. Inhale, exalted, right fingertips up. And exhale, skandasana, right heel down. Inhale, crescent lunge, palms to touch. And exhale, use that space you created for your crescent, uh, revolved crescent. Yeah, right elbow, left thigh. Now both feet pressed down into the floor. Take your variation. Nice, you can do like Michael, open your arms wide. Find your variation, hold here. Got two more breaths. Stay through one more exhale. And inhale, crescent lunge. Exhale, warrior two. And sit low here. Your warrior two doesn't need to be super wide. Just want your shoulders, hips, stack. Let me over your ankle back for about a 90 degree angle. You can stay here. This is a warrior two. This is a warrior two. Neither is better than the other. Find yours. It's a little deeper. Flip your front palm and reverse triangle. Straighten your front leg. Reach up. And exhale, side angle pose, bend at your left knee, left hand down, right arm up. Take your variation. Binds, half binds, birds paradise, bound half moon. And here for five more breaths. Yeah, keep grounding into your standing leg. And then slowly raise from there, press into your foot and light as you breathe in, lift your left leg with you. Excellent, hold and breathe. Got it here for three. Back to your side angle in two. And one, release. Inhale, reverse warrior. And exhale, both hands to the floor. Step your right foot up to meet your left. Inhale, halfway lift. And exhale, forward fold. Separate your feet, hips distance. Peace fingers around your big toes. Now lengthen your spine, bend your knees. And exhale, use your arms to pull yourself deeper. Crown your head to the floor. Now notice if your shoulders are crowding your hips, keep your shoulder, or shoulders are crowding your ears and keep your shoulders lifted towards your hips. And take a breath in. Maybe sink a little deeper on this breath out. And breath in. Sink a little deeper. Last time, breath in. And exhale, sink a little deeper, then release. Keep your feet as wide as they are. And inhale to a chair pose. Now reach your fingertips towards the front hand, shoulder width distance apart, spread your fingers wide, and bring your knees or your triceps to your knees, crow pose, palms to the mat in front of you, shift your weight towards your toes, then your weight to your palms, look out in front of you, hold and breathe here. If you've got crow pose, feel free to take flights. 
If you don't got it, maybe just stay in a squat. Hold and breathe here. Excellent. Nice. Beautiful variations for five. Both feet down in four. Stay for three, two, and one. Feet down. Inhale, halfway lift. Now, gorilla pose, palms underneath your feet. Toes to your wrist creases. Welcome up bend to your knees. Lift and lengthen. And exhale, fold, reach the crown of your head to the floor. And strong here in your arms. Hold and breathe. Yeah, shake your head. No, not yet. And one more breath in. Exhale, let it go. Relax your grip. Keep your feet wide and inhale back to your chair. Hips down and back. Reach your hands to the front. Bring your triceps to your knees. Another opportunity here for curl pose. Shift your weight to your toes. Plant your palms. Lean forward, look forward. Maybe you lift your feet. Hold and breathe for five. Plank in four, three, two, and one. Inhale, up dog. Exhale, down dog. And breath in and out. Breath in and out. Inhale your right heel high. And right knee, left elbow. Then fall in triangle, extend your right foot out. Ground your left heel. Take your left arm to the ceiling. Now ground and lift. Press through your hand. Keep lifting your hips to the ceiling. You got it here for three. Stay two, left hand down. Inhale, send your right heel to the ceiling. Bend your knees, stack your hips. Option to stay, option to take it to flip dog or wild thing. Ground, lift, and open. Hold here for five. Stay for four. Down dog in three, two, and one. Back to your down dog. Inhale, your left heel high. Left knee, right elbow. Fall in triangle, extend your foot out. Ground your right heel. Reach your left, right hand high. Again, hips stay lifted. If you want an additional challenge, float your left foot. Hold here for three. Three-legged dog in two. And one, ground your right hand, left leg up and back. Bend your knees, stack your hips. Wild thing, flip dog, feel free to stay. Ground, lift and open. Hold for five. Stay for four. You got three. Last two. Back to your down dog. Breath in. And out. Up on your toes. Exhale, top of your mat. And halfway lift. And fold. Chair pose, breathe in, palms touch, and revolve, or seated prayer, twist left elbow right back. Now, if this is uncomfortable, feel free to just stay in your chair. You can twist, keep your arms wide, go post your arms. But notice the positioning of your knees. So now here, if you want to play with a side crow, you can lower your hips to your heels. Now you can turn your whole body so your left elbow is at your right knee, your right elbow is at your left hip. Palms on the floor. Look out in front of you, shift your weight to your hands, maybe lift your right leg, then lift your left. Feel free to explore, feel free to play. Hips lower than your heart. Hold and breathe for three. Chair in two. And one, chair pose, and exhale, full. Inhale, halfway lift, or yeah, halfway lift. Exhale, full. Mountain pose as you breathe in, and now take a back bend, cactus your arms, lift your heart. Press through your feet to find more height. Stay through the exhale. Inhale, mountain pose, exhale, full. Halfway lift, and full. Chair pose, palms together. And exhale, twist, opposite side. Now again, same options. If you want to stay here, stay. If you want to play with side crow, come up onto your tiptoes, lower your hips to your heels. Now you can twist your entire body. So this way, your triceps are a shelf. Your right hand's going to be at your left knee. Your left hand's going to be, or your left elbow's going to be at your hip. Palms on the floor, hand shoulder width distance apart. Maybe keep your right toes down, lift your left. Take your chatter on with arms and play with lifting your feet. Hold and breathe. You've got it for five. Chair in four. Got it for three, two, 
Yeah, and one chair pose. And exhale, fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, fold. Now inhale, mountain pose. Bring your hands to your heart. Let me take a moment. Notice the pace of your heartbeat. Notice the pace of your breath. And acknowledge how you're feeling right here, right now. You take one more inhale. And then as you exhale, take a steeple grip. So you're gonna interlace all your fingers except for your pointer fingers. Those are gonna stay pointed up towards the ceiling. And now squeeze the heels of your palms together. Now inhale, reach your hands high. Now as you ground through your feet, your legs zip tight. Your shoulders might lift a little bit, but you're also lifting through the crown of your head. So you're not crowding any space around your neck. Take one more inhale, lengthen. And now side body stretch, take it up and over to the right. Now send your hips over to the left and roll your left ribs back, right ribs forward. You're using your right arm to lengthen, create space. And your exhale, maybe you sink a little deeper. Hold here for three, stay for two, and inhale, center. Exhale, take it to the left. Again, bump your hips to the right, roll your right ribs back, left ribs forward. Keep your chin off of your chest. Biceps by your ears, hold and breathe for five and four. Stay three, two, and inhale, take it back to center. Now keeping your arms overhead. Let the back of your head hang heavy. Continue to ground into your heels. Lift out of the ground. Lift out of your chest, and then slowly trace the ceiling back one tile at a time, or the sky one cloud at a time. Ground lift and open, keep lifting out of your sternum. Avoid dumping in your lower back. You've got it here for three. Last two. And inhale, rise up. Palms together. And exhale your hands to your heart. Take a breath in. And exhale, let it go. Breath in. And out. Now ground here through your left foot. And lift your right knee. Now options here, you can bring your left hand, grab the outside of your thigh. You can reach your left hand, grab the outside of your right foot. But either way, you're gonna extend and lengthen. And now twist, extend your right arm behind you. You can gaze over your right fingertips. Maybe you just kick out through your foot and keep both arms extended wide. Hold here for three. Come back to center in two. And one, back to your single legged Tadasana. Now grab onto your right leg, hand to your knee. You can grab through your toes, open wide. Now extend your left fingertips out from your shoulders. And you can grab through your toes. Just here for three. Take it to tree and two. And one, right foot, left leg. Palms together, reset your foundation. And if you wanna stay here, stay. If you wanna take your arms high or wide, feel free to move or explore. Hold and breathe, you got it for five. Stay for four. Yeah, last three, two, and palms together. And exhale, ground your right leg. Shift your weight into your right leg and inhale, lift your left knee. Now same options, you can stay here. You can bring your right hand to the outside of your left. Maybe grab the outside of your foot and extend. Either way, stand tall and exhale, open and twist. Send your left arm behind you. So hips stay pointed towards the front. All the twist is happening through the length of your spine. Got it here for three. Stay two. And inhale, come back to center. Now left hand can grab the top of your knee. You can reach your peace finger to your big toes. And as you're ready, open to the side. You can extend your right hand, gaze over your right fingertips. And just three. Three and two. And one, left foot, right leg. Palms together, shoulders back, chest proud, tall through the crown of your head. You can stay here, you can explore. Find the variation of your choice. Last three, and two, and one, palms to touch. Exhale, ground both feet. Now we're gonna play with the standing bow pulling pose. 
Standing bow plank pose is similar to dancer, but as opposed to looking for more of the chest opening wine glass shape, you're looking for more of a twist. So to start this, stand as you are and reach your hands shoulder height, palms face down. Now take an open arm twist, reach your right arm back and left arm forward. Now notice here if your right hip wants to drift back and keep it in line here with your left. All right, now from here, bring your right hand down, think dancer pose, right foot, right hand. Now take your gaze over your left fingertips, flip your palm face down and lift your hand to the ceiling. Now from here, lift high. Start to draw your right knee back and kick your heel away from your glute. Kick your toes up and as your toes lift, slowly lower your chest. So you're stacking your shoulders, continue to gaze over your left fingertips, hold here for five breaths. Keep kicking as much as you're pulling, hold and breathe, you've got it here for four. If you fall out of it, feel free to get back in. Three more breaths. And two. And release, come back into your mountain pose. Ground both feet. And exhale, lower your hands, shoulder height. Now draw your left arm back, open arm twist. Now keep your left hip forward. Left hand by your side, left foot, left hand. Again, grab just like you would dancer pose. Now keeping your chest open towards the side. Bring your chin towards your right shoulder. Left right palm to the ceiling. Start to draw your knee back, kick your heel up in a way, and slowly lower your chest as your toes lift. Now kick into your left hand as much as you're pulling with your left, or kick and pull equally, left side. Excellent, hold and breathe here. Got it for four more breaths. Excellent, focus Savannah. Stay active in your arm, you got it Kevin. Maybe lower your chest just a little deeper, last three, two, and inhale, rise back up, mountain pose. And exhale, forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift. And crow pose one last time, palms to the floor, thought knees to your triceps, lean forward, look forward. Hold for five. Got it for four. Back to plank in three. Last two and one. Step or jump back to your plank, lower chaturanga. Up dog, breathe in. And down dog, breathe up. Deep inhale. Now exhale, let it go. Now shift forward to your plank. And exhale, lower all the way to your chest. Now options here. Option one, you can reach your arms long in front of you. Or option two, hands behind your back, interlace your fingers, squeeze your shoulders together. Either way, take your locust pose. Inhale, lift your chest, and exhale, lift your legs. If you can, keep your fists off of your hips. Hold and breathe for five. Lift and reach for four. Stay three, two, and exhale, release. Bring your hands underneath your shoulders, press to a tabletop, and exhale, child's pose. But then let your forehead rest on the mat. Maybe it feels better if you bring your hands by your sides, palms face up, and rock your forehead side to side. Deep breath in. Exhale, let it go. Hands out in front of you. Inhale up to a tabletop. And exhale, lower all the way down to your chest. Now, floor bow pose. If floor bow isn't in your practice, feel free to take another locus. You can take a cobra pose. Go as heels to your glutes. Reach your hands back, grab the pinky side edges of your feet. Now first, lift your thighs off the mat. Then kick your heels away from your glutes and lift your chest, pull your shoulders together. Crown of your head high, toes high. Hold and breathe for five. Lift for four. Stay for three, a little higher, two. And exhale all the way down, let it go. Hands under your shoulders. Inhale to a tabletop. Exhale, child's pose. From here, walk your hands back and take a seat on your heels. Now coming into a, a camel pose. So if you 
Two fist distance between your thighs. You can use your hands to measure it out. So now some different options and variations. Option one to be the most safe, hands at your lower back, down your pockets. Draw your shoulders together, elbows together. Continue to press your shins down. Option two, if you want to take your steeple grip, you can reach up, look up, and then take it back. Choose wherever you're at, or notice where you're at, and grow from there. So find your variation. Ground your shins, hips forward. Lift through your heart. Take your chin to the ceiling. You can stay right here. If you want to take it further, continue to extend and lift first. And as you exhale, slowly take it back. Taking your time, do not rush it. If it's in your practice, take your hands to your heels. You can tuck your toes to give you more space. Hold here for five. Stay for four. Making your way up in three. Hands to your lower back in two and one. Inhale, come up. And exhale, take a seat on your heels. Deep breath in. And exhale, let it go. One more like that. Slow inhale. And open mouth, exhale. Go ahead and sit over your legs. Bring your feet flat on the mat. Extend your fingertips, lower all the way down to your spine. And then take three more back bends. I'll cue for one bridge and two wheels. If you want to take three wheels, go ahead and take three wheels. If you want three bridges, feel free to take three bridges. All right, so feet on the mat about hips distance apart. Heels close to your glutes, so maybe your middle finger can swipe the back of your heels. Ground evenly through your feet, lift your hips, bridge pose. Now think of lifting your chest to meet your chin. Think of pulling your chin away from your chest. Keep squeezing your glutes, lift your hips higher, lift your heart higher. Hold here for five. You can lower in four. Stay three, a little higher, two, and exhale all the way down. Take a breath in. Exhale, let it go. I'll cue for wheel pose. If you want a second bridge, go ahead and get after it. Otherwise, wheel, hands over your shoulders, fingertips, point towards your heels, lift your hips, press into your hands, come onto the crown of your head, and if you can, lift, extend as high as you can. Hold and breathe. Excellent variations here, everyone. You're doing so good. You've got it for five. Hold here for four. Last three, two, and all the way down, slowly with control. Take a round of breath here. Slow inhale. Exhale, let it go. Last back bend, choose your variation, set up. Wheel pose, hands over your shoulders, ground through your feet, lift your hips, press to your hands, lift the crown of your head. You've got it here for 10. Stay for nine. Keep lifting here for eight. Stay seven, there you go, Chad. Six, five, four, last three, two, and all the way down, chin to your chest. Round your hips, bottoms of your feet together. Let your knees open wide, or you can open up your knees as wide as your mat, fall in bridge, bring your thighs together. Choose whatever variation suits you. Allow your lower back to relax. Breath in and out. Breath in and out. One more time, slow inhale. Slow exhale. Draw your knees together, rock front to back. Make your way over your legs. We're gonna take it to half pigeon on the right side. So choose your own path, find your way to get there. If half pigeon doesn't feel good on your stomach, feel free to lie on your back, cross your right leg over your left, and then lace your fingers underneath your left thigh, draw your knee into your chest. Yeah, if there's a different variation, feel free to take it. Actively ground through your shins, walk your hands towards your hip, hips, and, and then find some lightness, stack your shoulders and lift, shoulders back, lean back, and as you're ready, slowly lower your chest towards the floor. You can ground your forehead here, whether that's on a mat, or your block, your fists, your palms. Allow yourself to rock a little side to side. Allow yourself to just be in this pose without trying to control it. Notice if there's tension in your jaw, your shoulders, your neck, or your hips. And what can you let go of to allow yourself to be more comfortable? To maybe get a little deeper into it. So you can 
can slow down your inhales and lengthen your exhales. Three more breaths here. Last breath in, and slow exhale, let it go. And however you need to make your transition to your left side. If you're lying on your back, feel free to stay on your back. If you need to move through a three-legged dog, shake it out. If you need to flip, flip. As you're ready, take it to your left side. And if you're taking it, Walk your hands back towards your hips, ground through your shins, delighting your hips, shoulders back, chest up. Excellent. Nice. And slowly lower all the way back down. Again, let yourself ease into this shape. Allow yourself to let go of control. Allow yourself to be open to receiving whatever it is that's coming your way in this shape. And maybe it's a little deeper, maybe stay right where you are. You know, in my personal practice, there's just like poses that I see to like struggle with, or I feel like I'm not progressing. I'm kind of just like plateau in my practice. It's like I keep working, keep working. It's like nothing's happening, nothing's happening. And then finally, all of a sudden, things like open up and it's like everything just happens. It seems like at once after trying for so long. So allow yourself to ease into it. Take three more breaths here. Allow room for growth. Allow room for change. Maybe it comes or maybe you have to be a little more patient. Stay through one more exhale. Walk your hands back. And shake it out however you need to shake it out. And come back to sitting down. You can extend your legs long in front of you. Take your legs wide. Bring your left hand by your side. And reach your right arm up. And now fold over your left leg, and with your right hand, you can grab your foot, you can grab your ankle, your shin, your thigh. Try keeping both shoulders square and stay through one more exhale. And as you inhale, sit up tall, plant your right hand by your hip, reach your left arm up, and fold your left arm over your right leg. One more breath in, last breath out. And now sit up tall. Now rock your sit bones, you can reach your hands high overhead. If you wanna keep your legs wide, take a wide leg, see it forward fold. You can bring your legs together if you just want a regular forward fold, but take the forward fold of your choice right here. Got it here for three. Stay for two. And one. Inhale, sit up tall. Bring your feet together if they're not. Tuck your chin, slowly lower all the way down to your back. Palms to the floor. And now waterfall pose. You can bring your knees in first. You can kick your heels to the ceiling. And bring your hands behind your thighs. If you want to take your legs up the wall, feel free to just scoot your uh, tailbone up to a wall. Kick your heels up to the ceiling. Let your shoulders relax, let your lower spine rest on the floor. You want to take a shoulder stand or a different inversion? Here for another 15 breaths. Going where you need to go. And 
Another 10 breaths. If you're in your shoulders, stand in heavens, go ahead and take it to plow. Another five breaths. You're gonna take your plow to or your shoulder stand or your plow to death yogi pose. Bring your knees to your temples. And one more breath in. And now as slow as you can, unroll one vertebra at a time to keep your knees at your chest. Give yourself a hug. Now let your tailbone rest on the mat, shoulders on the mat, tuck your chin slightly, rock side to side. And after your next exhale, wrap yourself tighter, bring your forehead up to meet your knees. Squeeze yourself into a tiny little ball. Take one more breath in, hold at the top of your inhale, squeeze tight for three and two. Savasana, let your legs lay long. Let your arms rest at your sides. Allow yourself to take up space. Allow yourself to be still. And resisting the urge to fidget, the urge to give in to any sensations that come up or any thoughts that arise that might distract you from this moment. Try to be as still as you can and just notice what's happening without your influence, watch your breath come and go. And feel your heartbeat. Need to stay as long as you need to. But before moving your body, return to your breath. Take three breaths here. Inhale slowly through your nose, fill your belly, fill your chest all the way to your collarbones. Pause for just a moment at the top and slowly blow your exhale away. Let your chest sink, let your navel snap to your spine, and pause for a moment at the bottom of your breath out. Inhale, slowly fill your belly, fill your chest, your collarbones, fill up, fill up, fill up, fill up, fill up, and pause for a moment. Slowly blow your exhale away. Pause at the bottom. Last time, long, slow, full breath in. The biggest breath you've taken today, allow yourself to be bigger than you are. Fill up, 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 and hold at the top for five. Four, three, slow exhale in two, and one, completely let all that go. Return to your natural breath. Welcome movement to your fingers, your toes, your ankles, your ribs. And rock over to a fetal position if you want. As you're ready, make your way to a comfortable seat. 
And if you need more time in Shavasana, again, stay as long as you need to. Shoulders up and down your back. Left hand on your heart, right hand on your left. All right, now watch how you feel right here, right now. Find gratitude here for showing up for yourself, doing this for you, and sharing your time and your practice with everyone else who joined in. I appreciate each and every single one of you for sharing your evening with me. It's been such a pleasure and such an honor to be able to guide you through your practice. Thank you for your openness and willingness to try something new. And until next time, I wish you well and namaste. So thank you all so much uh, for your practice. Uh, keep an eye out uh, for all the classes that will be live on Zoom uh, and Facebook with Small World. If you'd like to make a donation to Small World, um, you can Venmo Small World, otherwise on Kindful. Uh, Small World also has a page. So thank you so much for that. If you have any questions, comments, concerns, feel free to, uh, yeah, let me know. But otherwise, thank you all so much. And until next time. Thanks, Gilbert. Oh, you're very welcome. Thank you, thank you. Have a good night. Good night. Bye. 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 Take care. Yeah. Chad! Dude! <laughs> Dude, Rackins! So good to see you, man. Chad, you're muted. But... Hey. What's going on, dude? Not much. <laughs> How are you? I saw the name Chad and I...